Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As some of you know, my name is Gail. I'm the owner of TheBargainsDen.com, the host and creator of this channel, The Bargains Den Studio. So this is the Nike Air Max, nine, a size nine and a half. And right now we're gonna do the lacing. So I'm always stuffing it, so I'm trying to stuff it before. So even though it's mesh and it's not gonna lose its texture, I'm just gonna put one plastic. Do I need to put two plastic? Okay, let's put two. I cut the, the bag from the water bottle. So that's the what I'm using. I'm not using anything. I'm gonna use the warmer plastic because again, I like to end it with a darker color. So it can, I don't know, it can look dark on the inside. So I'm just gonna do the lacing. So you guys already know my lacing process and I'm hoping that you guys can see it. I know the camera is shaking a little bit. Let's see. Let's make sure that I get it adjusted properly. So you guys can see it. The problem is I decided to start sitting down. Standing up wasn't fun anymore. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna lace that. Like I think the moment I put the plastic in it, it makes it harder for me to lace. I probably should have just not put the plastic in it until after I was done lacing it. Okay, so like I was mentioning, I think I'm gonna I had a few ideas about when I first started my business, I had a few ideas on how I wanted it to be. Of course, I didn't factor inflation. I didn't think I was going to do so much on the back end. I mean, yes, if I didn't do so much on the back end, things would be way cheaper. And I think that's one thing I need to reflect on. But again, we both know that I may not because I know me. And I know I like things to look a certain way, so I may not be able to do it. But for the things, and again, even the wholesale items are still wash. I don't know why. It's just a problem with me. I cannot do it the way people want me to do it. And I know everybody's different, and people would just be happy if they were the price it they wanted, and they would wash it themselves. But I can't. So I'm gonna try to. Like for inventory, certain inventory, I'm going to try to still, to try. I'm going to try to do the sale on, uh, on well, it's only going to be on my side. On my side, no way it's going to be on Mercury, eBay, or Poshmark. I would lose way too much. But, and then if you guys have any idea about shipping, oops, well, I just dropped my remote control. Yeah, I know, right? It was on the table. And I'm using the white back one. I already mentioned that on my last video. So anyway, if you guys have any idea about how can my customers get cheaper shipping, especially those who want to buy more bundle, like, you know, wholesale, local people, I don't worry about it. But people that I have to ship items to, I'm not good with shipping and I only use USPS. So I don't know any other ones that like, you know, and a car is passing by. You guys can hear it in the back on. I don't know any other ones that I can take of that's gonna give me cheaper shipping. I thought about UPS, but you never know. So I'm just gonna go with the one that I know, which is USPS. So if you guys have any advice about how my customers can get cheaper shipping, especially when they wanna buy and do bundle, please let me know because it's a concern. It's a concern because like, I don't feel like, you know, for each piece you have to pay a certain price. I can do the bundle, review it with you online. Obviously, you're watching it. And then, well, once you pick the item you want and then send you, a, well, not a PayPal, but you pay for it, like do a listing with the full bundle like that. And then you pay for it because people are interesting. If there's a way to scam you, people will try to scam you. And that's why the moment people try, I don't play that game. So I won't do the... I, won't do the fake credit card whatever that if they're using nowadays because we all work hard i'm not gonna say i work hard for everything i have because we all work hard it's just like and i know some people would rather have it the easy way but the truth is it's not the easy way it's just you putting more sweat because eventually you always have to wash your back eventually you're gonna get caught i mean remember the saying you always have to be lucky and the cops have to be lucky just once 
you always have to be lucky if you even unlucky one time you the cops will get you so that's why and i'm always concerned about scammers and that's why I do, I use certain protection because of people like that. Because there's always going to be somebody that's going to try it. And it's like for them, it's a game. And it's not a game for you and I. Because we work very hard for our stuff. I forgot, I skipped a, I skipped a hole for that one. Let's see if you can still see me. Yeah, you can see me. I skipped a hole on that one. So, I'm hoping the video is not that long. I didn't check when I've got up. I'm gonna check in a moment. Yeah. So for them, it's just a game. But for us, this is our livelihood. This is my livelihood. I have to do Uber and Lyft to make up for the ones that, for the things that I use, like for my unexpected expense, for my kidnapping ransom, not mine, but obviously my brother, for my, uh, for the funeral. So. And then for fighting with people in Haiti, so they won't steal my warehouse, which they still broke in and stole the toilet. I mentioned that before. I mean, people keep it interesting. It's like here, they think everybody in the U.S. has money. And don't get me wrong, a long time ago, I used to think the same way before I came to the U.S. But the thing is, my only thought process now is like, I know, I know it's not easy. But then again, you just have to do the work. It's not easy. Nothing that's worth it is easy. You just have to work for it. Because I know the U.S. is not easy. I really do. I mean, I've been homeless. But that's after my mom got cancer. I know I'm giving you guys an explanation. and But still, it's like I know it's not easy. But at the same time, it's not impossible at all. If you want it bad enough, you can make it happen. You just have to do the work. That's all I'm saying. Because the way I see it, if I can do it once, I can do it again. My mom did, did not know how to read, write. So why can I do it? What would be my excuse for not doing it? But most people would rather have it the easy way. And I get why my people think it's so easy here. Because to us, that's job, that's security. The number one thing is more like that's security. And that's why the moment we come here, we end up working. Because it's like I had somebody in my car once that was so happy to be, to get a job. He graduated university and couldn't do anything with the education he got. So when he got to the U.S., he was so happy just to be able to work. So this is the first one. And you guys can see I'm not going to dolly dolly too much. I'm going to move on to the next one because I don't want the video to get longer then 12 minutes and if it gets longer than 12 minutes i guess i'm gonna do a part three with listing or maybe inspection so i'm not gonna dolly yeah like we're gonna waste a lot of time on it okay let's stuff it in like i always do and then i will do a quick video if this one get past 12 minutes because i really don't want to keep doing the long video I know you guys don't want to sit there and watch something, watch me talk about God only know what. And of course, if you guys have any question, the shaping, any advice at all will help. I mean, any way for me to improve will help. Although, like my brother say, I don't follow advice very well because I tend to do my own thing. But I'm also learning. It's, I'm a work on pro in progress. I'm always going to be a work in progress because, well... You're never too old to learn. That's my point of view. Even though I'm hard-headed. But you're still never too old to learn. Okay, so I'm trying to wash. And the more I try to wash, it just make it harder. And I'm going to get too much into my head when it comes to... <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. So, I'm going to work on my ideas to see how can I accomplish it maybe make my store a little bit of what i envisioned from the get-go because when i first started i truly wanted to keep it at the price range where everybody are able to get what they need and right now i feel like i'm following the inflation trend even though i do so much on the back end and i think it's because i do so much on the back end but i cannot help myself because i can't i have to clean everything because 
I wouldn't want to wear it if it's not in a certain condition. So I get too much in my head and I have a hard time like, you know, stopping or doing something different. The moment I started doing this and I started cleaning, I couldn't help myself. I, I had to do something. I had to do it my way. And I think I need to learn how to balance the two. My way and still make it like, you know, where they're special enough that people can get what they need. I mean, especially people that are paying for shipping. When you're paying for shipping, shipping is expensive. Well, anything, I mean, I never thought shipping was so expensive till I looked back into shipping to Haiti. And I was like, what the F? It's just Haiti, bro. Why do I need to pay so much money? I think if I need to spend 20 bucks to Haiti, but that's 20 bucks, like 18 by 18 by 24, it's like almost $1,600. And that's less than a container. I might as well do a container. But the container is going to cost me, and I have to have a broker. The broker is going to cost me money. So it's a lot for Haiti. And you're wondering why do I want to ship to Haiti? Oh, let's see how long the video is, and I can pick up on the next one. And we can do the little dance finally. It's almost there. So it's about 11 minutes. I'm going to stop it here. You guys can see. I'm going to stop it here, and I'm going to come back on the next side, uh, video to finish it off. So I'm sorry, guys, Like, but I was talking too much anyway, so. And some of you just want to see the finished product. So, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Really, really sorry. Then, till next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, sorry. <laughs> till next time. Bye. Oh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you. Till next time. Bye.